Mindy is renowned for her incredible flexibility and dexterity. But is she good enough to get through the laser beams and avoid triggering an alarm? As she tries, we'll measure her every move with the advanced technology of the Fight Science Lab. So Mindy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about 16 sensors all over your body. And what it's gonna tell us is exactly kind of the joint angles of your arms, your legs, your torso, as you maneuver our obstacle course that we've set up for you. The sensors of this system accurately measure body position and movement in three dimensions. Hold still, we're gonna calibrate. The data is transmitted in real time to a computer. Put your arms out. That displays a virtual image of Mindy's skeleton in motion. The computer will record the range of motion of Mindy's spine and limbs. Scientists can then assess why Mindy succeeds or fails. Do not break any of those laser beams as you're coming out, okay? And to simulate the pressure of an actual ninja strike, Mindy will have only 60 seconds to circumvent the lasers and escape this 20 by 20 foot room. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, begin. Mindy's martial arts training gives her more than double the range of motion of an average human being. I mean, she's repositioning her legs, but the only way she's moving is with her arms. I mean, her arms are doing all the work. Look at that, how low she is. When this superhuman flexibility is combined with her extraordinary sense of balance, it allows Mindy to squeeze through spaces too tight for a normal person. And there's one more skill shared by ninja and great athletes throughout the centuries. It's called kinesthetic awareness, a precise knowledge of where every part of her body is located as it travels through space. Mind and body working in perfect harmony. And she's getting ready to come out. I think right. she's real close to the edge here. Wow. wow. Great Jeez. job, Mindy. That, that was, was awesome. I am, I am truly impressed. I mean, look at all the different lasers in here, and you didn't hit any of them. I just used the method of movement that I felt would be the quickest and safest route for me, and I think it worked. Mindy beat the clock without tripping a single beam. But how did she do it? A look inside her body reveals the secrets of her stealth. In her very first move, Mindy bends her spine backwards at 70 degrees extension. A normal person can barely achieve 30 degrees extension. When Mindy goes into the splits, her right hip abduction reaches 117 degrees, while her left hip hits 100 degrees. Normal passive hip abduction is 45 to 50 degrees. In her final move, a backflip over the laser beam, Mindy's spine angle again reaches 70 degrees extension, a number usually only seen in Olympic gymnasts. Her mind and body work in perfect harmony, planning and executing her escape.